During a liberal made inflationary crisis, Canadians are having a hard time choosing between heating their homes and feeding their families. And we found out today that instead of having the backs of Canadians, they're helping liberal insiders get rich. Mm -hmm. The liberal international trade minister was caught red handed and found guilty of breaking ethics laws by giving a sweetheart contract to her friend, the CBC pundit, Amanda Alvero. Shame. Will the minister resign? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Commissioner for his important role in ensuring transparency and accountability in our institutions. And as the report indicates, I take full responsibility for my actions. I should have recused myself, and I apologize for not doing so. At no time was there any intention for anyone to benefit inappropriately. My efforts fell short of my own high personal standard for transparency and accountability, which Canadians have a right to expect from their elected officials. I'm sorry, and it won't happen again. The Honourable Member for Selkirk, Interlake Eastman. Mr. Speaker, if the Trade Minister was truly sorry, she'd pay the money back. In fact, she is the fourth Liberal Cabinet Minister to be found guilty of breaking the law by the Ethics Commissioner. The Trade Minister got caught giving two sweetheart deals to her friend who also worked on her campaign. Now, the Ethics Commissioner said there's simply no excuse for contracting with a friend's company. After Bill Marneau got caught, he did the honourable thing and resigned. Will the, will the trade minister follow suit and resign immediately, or does the prime minister have to fire this corrupt minister? Yeah. The honourable minister. Mr. Se Mr. Speaker, I have taken and I am taking full responsibility for my actions. I should have recused myself, and I'm sincerely sorry for not having done so. What I want Canadians to know is that this will not happen again.